Okay, welcome students that are using iPads and tablets. Today I'll be guiding you through how to get to Scratch, the website we'll be using, and how to share your work with me as it's a little bit more complicated than using a computer or laptop. So, I'm on Google at the moment on my iPad and I'm just going to type in Scratch. It will come up for me, you might have to type it in. And then I'm going to click the top one here. So there we go, without any hassles whatsoever, I'm logged in at the moment. So um, I'll get into that very soon. But um, from here, it, it won't look like this, it'll look a little bit different. And before you go to create, you're going to have to make an account, which is a bit annoying, but if it's going to be through iPad or tablet, that's just how it is. So there should be an option up here instead of my username there to create an account. What you're going to need to create an account is um, a username, do not um, use your name for your username and a password. So after you do that, it'll ask you for your date of birth uh, and your email address and then you'll be able to, um, after you've created your account, see a page like this. It'll look like this. So. After you have completed the activity for this lesson, it'll say untitled up here. So you want to rename this to lesson one because this is the only way I'll be able to um, be able to get and see your work. So for example, I'm just going to make some code quickly, a quick program, so when clicked, I drag this out. If I want to delete it, I just hold my finger down, duplicate and delete block, so I, all I need to do is hit delete block, it's gone. If I want to keep that out there. So when clicked, I'm going to go to looks, say hello for two seconds, and I want him to say something else, I must like to say something else, so um, what, no, what's up, and let's go to our question mark, there it is, there you go, all done, and then for the, for just the control block, I'll put that in, okay, so, Say you have completed your task, and this can be for lesson one, two, or three. So what you're gonna have to do is name it lesson one, two, or three after you've completed your activity while still being logged in to your account. So you should be logged in, it should be your username up here, not mine. So after that, after you've done your work, you're going to have to go to share, which is the button here. And this is going to share everyone that happens to come across your work is going to be able to see it. So you can put some instructions here if you want for people um, to tell people um, how your project works or what it does. Um, you can credit people in here. So how did you make it? Uh, I would turn comments off, so turn that off, and there we go, it should say up the top, congratulations on sharing your project, other people can now try it out, give comments and remix it. So from this page, because this is what I'll be receiving, I'll be able to click this button up here on the top right, that says see inside and have a look at your code, and people will be able to play your code. Hello, what's up? 
So, when you are emailing your work to me, for example, this might be lesson one, what you're going to do is click my email that's in the actual lesson file and it should come up with a, um, an email to fill out to my, to my email. And what you're going to do is click down here, copy link. And it should come up with this top link here. So you're going to hit that, copied, exit that. And in the email you're going to send, you're going to paste that hyperlink to me. So I can click that and your program will come up straight away. Since this is lesson one, you'll also have to copy and paste your answers to the questions that um, you would have answered at the start of the lesson. So what you're going to need is your link to your program, the questions that you've answered, copied and pasted in or um, retyped. Uh, it just depends on how or where you've um, completed the questions. And in your email, can you please put maybe for the subject in the subject or just maybe below um, the answers to your questions, uh, lesson one, and then maybe in brackets your initials, just so I know who it's come from. So yeah, this is the process you'll be going through in completing your lessons. You're gonna to have to log in, um, do the activity for the lesson, and hit share. But for lesson two, it's gonna be, you'd rename this to lesson two. And then, of course, um, you turn off comments. So no one can comment on it. And you'd again showing you one more time, you go to copy link. And this link here, so copy link, will be used or put in an email you send to me to your work. Okay, hopefully that wasn't too confusing, but um that's just the steps we'll have to take, or you'll have to take as um, iPad and tablet users just to, um, uh, just for me to see your work. Okay, that is all. Thank you very much for watching.